Good afternoon, YouTube. I guess I didn't get enough punishment last weekend, so I came up the road here again. This is the old forest road that's mentioned in the geocache. And this week, I think I'm going to go up this way, back to Charcoal Road. It's half a kilometer, 0 0.31 miles up here and 350 feet of climbing takes about 20 minutes and <laughs> you gotta catch your breath at the top it is seriously steep i measured one spot down there a ways where the gradient was 27 to 30 degrees which is over 50 percent gradient so that is some steep trail and it it just goes straight up there's a few switchbacks, but it's pretty much a straight up trail. I think it's roughly a tenth of a mile, maybe five, six hundred feet up here to Charcoal Road. And then we're going to go down to the left on Charcoal Road and try to find this other geocache. And then if there's time, it's about three tenths of a mile down to where the gate is supposed to be. So I'll see what time it is when I get to the geocache. And then I got to work out how much time to get back here and get down and get out of here before sunset. Okay, YouTube, we made it up to Charcoal Road. So this is the little spur right here. And then Charcoal Road is just right up. Uh, let's see, I think it's right up here. There's a little shelf and then another shelf. And that's where the spring is that seems to be the start of this creek comes out of the wall there and then I guess it must percolate down through the ground. You don't see any water here. You intersect with Charcoal Road right up here. Okay that's the Charcoal Road coming down from above there and then the little spur road to the gravestones geocache goes down there and then you get a pretty nice view across to Montebello Ridge. That's probably some of the wineries up there. I'll have to see which one that is. There's uh, the whole ridge here is pretty much all vineyards and wineries. Really nice clear view though. So yeah, we're going down this way. It's between a tenth and two tenths according to the geocaching app. So got to get going. Okay, this is the area where the geocache is. I already found it and signed the log. I thought there was something here. I guess I was uh, mixing this cache up with another one that said it was by some old foundations. I think that's farther up the hill on Charcoal Road, but I think I might have enough time to head down this way. I think there's a gate on this road where it crosses into private property. So I'm going to see if I can get down there. Yeah, I might just be able to do it. I think I need to be heading back in about 15 minutes so I'll see if I can get down there in time okay here's the end of the accessible part of charcoal road come down here it drops down probably about 200 feet vertical and you come to this gate there's a private property keep out signs and I think this must be the water tank for the house or there's a number of houses right down here along the canyon road Anyway, this is the end of the road. So yeah, this road definitely goes down to Stevens Canyon Road. And if it weren't for the private property, you could go right through there. Now it's funny, on all the maps, the road ends here. And then about two tenths of a mile farther, it begins again. So this road here doesn't exist. But that's why I wanted to come down here. And I was pretty sure it actually did go down. Yeah, they have a no bike sign up at the top too at the gate. So this part of the road is hiking and horses, equestrian use, but no bikes. Okay, YouTube made it back to the bike about 4.30. So I got about oh, 25 minutes to get out of here before sunset. And yeah, the fanny pack really worked. This time I remembered to bring a water bottle. Last week when I went up, <laughs> I left the water bottle on the bike. So this time I did about 1.6 miles, about an hour and 20 minutes. It was about an hour of moving time and then between taking pictures and finding the geocache, that was about another 20 minutes. 
Yeah, it's, it's not bad coming down the road. It's pretty steep. There's some 50% gradient sections, but if you're going to do that road, do it this time of year, like late fall after the first couple of rains. You have a couple advantages. One, the soil has soaked up some of the water and it's softer. And then two, it, the ticks haven't come out yet. Yeah, next time I wash my cycling clothes, I've got to respray them with permethrin. So I'm ready for this. Since I'm coming out and doing more of these hiking things, I think I need the permethrin spray again. They have these signs at all the entrances to the open space preserves. I read them the first time I came in here, you know, it's like, bikes stay on designated trails and of course i was on a bike and then there's all the warnings you've got poison oak and ticks and rattlesnakes and mountain lions and you know all that stuff and the thought that enters your mind is that oh it's dangerous if you step off the trail and then this summer doing some of these geocaches up here you start going through this and you know originally you would look at something like this and go there's no way you could get through there that's just a briar patch you know you'd get tangled up in stickers and you know, your legs and arms would be slashed to ribbons but then you start coming out here and it's like oh i can go around there or i can go up through this way and then all of a sudden it's open and there's a road up there but, you know, when you first look in here, it's like, oh my God, I would never go up there. That's like sure misery if you tried to go into something like that. But once you get a little confidence, it's like, oh, there's ways around all this stuff. And you start picking out the uh, path of least resistance. And so now I did a yeah, 1.6 mile out and back walk here on roads that either don't show up on the map or they show up on some maps but not other maps and yeah it's really really neat but anyway gotta pack up the bike and hit the road hope you enjoyed that little hike a bike i guess it was more hiking than bike on the video i just rode up here this is just my way of getting up here and back so i gotta hit the road get out of here before sundown so yeah hope you enjoyed that and as always Thanks for watching.